Starring June Lockhart, Hugh Riley, John Provost as Timmy, and of course, Lassie. There's the headline, Local Elephant Boy. <laughs> Timothy Martin heads up school children's committee to purchase baby elephant as addition to Capital City's zoo. <laughs> read on some more, Dad. Oh, Timmy, I've already read it aloud four times. But I like to hear it. So do I. <sighs> well, it all started when young Timothy Martin heard that the city of Franklin Zoo was visited by a blessed event in the form of a baby elephant. Getting the ball rolling, Timothy... <laughs> Timothy circulated the idea of trying to purchase the baby elephant with nickels, dimes, and quarters donated by all the school children in the surrounding area. The idea gathered momentum and is now going to be... What's momentum? Oh, well, momentum is, uh, it's motion, it's, uh, it's force. It's like a ball rolling downhill. First it uh, goes slowly and then it goes faster and faster. What happened? First I had a little idea. Then I got bigger, bigger, and bigger. And then it grew into an elephant. <laughs> and we're all very proud of you, Timmy. Everything starts out with an idea, but if it's a good one, like yours, it catches on. Of course, my teacher, Mrs. Deeney, had a lot to do with it. She sent out the notices and wrote to the city of Franklin. Well, it's a big project. It takes a lot of people all pulling together to accomplish something big. And nothing's much bigger than an elephant, even a baby one. Oh, listen to this. Dear Timothy Martin, I am eight years old. Here is a nickel I saved. I would like a nickel's worth of elephant. <laughs> Signed, Stephen Barnes. Well, I must say, these contributions are really adding up. It's been a whole week and they're still coming in. We must have nearly a hundred dollars. Yeah, pretty close after today's mail. Uh-oh. I think I've just opened our first dud. Oh? What does it say? <sighs> Dear Timothy Martin, this is to inform you that... Why, this is an official letter from the mayor of the city of Franklin. For me? Yes. Well, go ahead and read it. What does it say? Start from my name where it says, Dear Timothy Martin. Dear Timothy Martin, this is to inform you that the city of Franklin has decided to give the baby elephant, which has grown a little since birth, to the Capital City Zoo free as a gesture of goodwill. All the school children have to do is pay the express charges for its delivery. The elephant is now en route. Boy! That's wonderful. There's more. And, as a personal note, I want to congratulate you. Me? Yes, you. It's addressed to you. Gosh. I want to congratulate you for your dedication to a worthwhile project and your public spirit. Sincerely, Joseph M. Stiles, Mayor of the City of Franklin. All I know is that I got an elephant on the back of my truck and I'm supposed to dump it off at the Capital City Zoo. You're the only one that can accept it. But I haven't been officially authorized to pay the delivery charges. Oh, I don't know nothing about that. Well, if you'll just be patient for a little while, I think I can trace this to its source and get your money for you. This whole thing has been uh, completely unorthodox. A school children's project. Uh, Mrs. Dunn? Yes? Uh, track down whoever's the head of this elephant project for the school and uh, call me right back. Right away. This might take a little time. Well, I'll go grab some lunch. Then I guess all I can do is hang around and wait as long as I unload that elephant today.
Thanks to this young man, there's your $79.82 for freight charges. Yeah, should have brought along a piggy bank to take it back in. Uh, can I use this sack, son? Sure, Mr. You can have it. Well, thanks. Now, if you'll just take back this extra money... It doesn't belong to us. You can have it. You see, this is all part of the same collection. <laughs> it's elephant money. Well, what would I want with elephant money? But it's your elephant now. Yes. From now on, you take over. Where do I unload this monster so I can get off the safari? Well, there, there, there seems to be a general misunderstanding here. I haven't been authorized in any way either to accept the money or the elephant. All I know about this project is what I read. There have been no legal steps taken to bring this under my jurisdiction. Look, whoever's responsible, all I want to do is unload the elephant on somebody. Yes, it, it seems certainly logical that as city park commissioner, the elephant is your responsibility. That's what all school children bought it for. So we could have it in our zoo. Don't you understand? Yes, I understand, young man, and I approve of the whole idea. But I'm just a public servant. I don't own the zoo. Now, in order for me to accept the animal, I must be first properly authorized. And this requires a vote of the city council. Besides, the council has to vote to appropriate money to feed the elephant and to provide a proper structure to house it. We can't have an elephant running around loose with no place to keep it. Why bother to even talk about it? We may as well face it. We've got an elephant. Now, Ruth, Mr. Trumbull said that as soon as the city council gives them lawful authorization, why, they'll come and get it. Don't get me wrong. I love baby elephants. They're very sweet. But if they're not in Africa, they belong in a zoo, not on a farm. I agree, dear. But it's only for a few days. And it is for a good cause. like peanuts? Why, well, I don't know, son. That would be a good name to call her, Peanuts. Yeah, that seems suitable enough. Peanuts. Well, that suits her just fine. And that's what we'll call her, Peanuts. You know, Dad? What? The elephant, I mean, Peanuts and Lassie, they're like that. Real close friends. Look at them. Can't blame your mother, Timmy. Peanuts means well, but she just can't be running around loose. Yeah, that shouldn't give you too much discomfort. Timmy! Good morning, Mom! You haven't finished cleaning your room. Okay. Come on, Lassie. Wow. be alone sometime, Lassie. It's part of growing up. I wonder how all of this got under here. Couldn't be just me.
We've got Peanuts to sit. First Lassie does it, then Peanuts does it. Well, that's quite an accomplishment, I'd say. Well, I hope they appreciate getting a trained elephant. Mr. Trumbull. How do you do? Hello, Mr. Trumbull. Hello there, son. Ruth, this is Mr. Trumbull, the park commissioner. Oh, well, how do you do? I certainly am pleased to meet you. Well, I'm pleased to meet you, ma'am. Have you come to take peanuts, our elephant? I'm here concerning the elephant, son. Well, if you want to take her right now, she's all ready. Well, ma'am, uh, the reason I'm here is to inform you that it appears that uh, things are going to be delayed. What does that mean? Well, it's just like this. Uh, mind you, I'm all for taking the dear little pachyderm with me this instant. But unfortunately, uh, Section 2 of the statute pertaining to animal procurement in any public institution demands a majority representation. Would you mind explaining that to me in plain, simple language? Ruth. Oh, no, 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 no. I want the facts. Plainly and simply. Mr. Trumbull, we have an elephant here and it belongs to you. Would you please give me one good reason why we have it and you don't? Well, as I was trying to tell you, ma'am, uh, the city council is about to adjourn to go on a vacation. And the legalities of the situation can't be resolved until they reconvene. Oh, it's a normal situation, ma'am. Legislation, government, legalities. And you must remember, it happened very suddenly. Yes, yes, I know all about that. Bureaucracy, red tape. Lots of talk, no action. Ruth, please. What are we supposed to do while the whole city council goes on vacation, Mr. Trumbull? Have you ever had an elephant make a shambles of your kitchen? Well, I have. Have you ever spent hours doing a wash just to have it all ground into the dirt? Yes, Mr. Trumbull, dirt. I've had my dishes broken and my, my petunias all trampled and my geraniums eaten just as though they were lettuce and I just don't know what next. And, Mr. Trumbull, it's been years since I've had a vacation. Well, Mr. Trumbull, I hardly know what to say. Wow. Well, women just don't know the intricacies of political government. But I know you understand, Mr. Martin. It'll only be a few weeks. When we all come back from our vacations, this whole thing will be settled in no time. No time at all. Well, we better go in and talk to your mother, huh? Hello? I'd like to speak to the mayor, please. Well, I don't know if it's official business or not. I'd like to speak to him. I'm a taxpayer. Well, I voted for him, if that means anything. Getting ready for his vacation. Well. I have just been snubbed by the mayor's office. You mean you called the mayor? I certainly did. Gee, what did he say? He didn't say anything. I couldn't even get past his secretary. Oh, I did learn, though, that he, too, is going on a vacation. Why don't we ever go on a vacation? Because somebody has to mind the store. Well, you just have to be patient, Ruth. Mr. Trumbull said so, and he ought to know. It, uh, well, it takes legislation and government and legal things, and that's the system. Well, I have my own system. I am just as much a part of this government as the mayor and Mr. Trumbull and the, the whole city council. Except that I'm stuck with something that's their problem. Ruth, you just can't fight City Hall. Oh, I don't intend to fight City Hall. I just want to make them aware of a thing or two. Timmy? Yes, Mom? Will you please get peanuts and load her into the back of the pickup truck? Huh? Paul, will you give him a hand? Well, sure. But what do you intend to do? I intend to keep good faith with all those children who sent in money so that they could have their own elephant in their own zoo. And I intend doing it in spite of all this political nonsense. 
I don't doubt the city officials should have their well-earned vacation, but I intend to put business before pleasure. <laughs> Good luck. I'm really looking forward to this vacation. You know I haven't been fishing in weeks. Well, my game has suffered because of work. Mm. Mr. Mayor, there's someone outside who insists that she has to Mr. see Mayor, you. Mr. Mayor, I simply must talk to you. Uh, Mrs. Martin? Uh, 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 yes, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Martin. Uh, what can I do for you? I must speak to you about a very important matter. The elephant matter I told you about. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, uh, Mrs. Uh... Martin. Uh, yes, Mrs. Martin. Uh, my office has been duly informed about the matter. And I can assure you that the matter will be properly attended to in due time. Well, I don't really mean to to bother you, but, um, uh, excuse me, just a minute, will you? Timmy, you and the others can come in now. Mr. Mayor, I won't bother you with the details. I'll just leave you with the bare facts. You see, um, I too have been having a few little problems. Oh, nothing really serious, like uh, going on a vacation or anything, but, oh, just little domestic trifles. And I hope you don't mind if I unburden them on you. Oh, Mr. Mayor. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. Now, now, don't be alarmed. He's really a very gentle elephant. Timmy, why don't you show the people how you taught Peanuts to sit? Okay, Mom. Lassie, sit. I don't understand any of this, Mrs. Uh... Martin, well then I'll make it very clear to you. This elephant has been our guest long enough. Now it's your turn. Come along, Timmy. It's getting late. I have supper to fix. You have to stay here, Peanuts. That's where things are. Come on, Lassie. I don't understand any of this, Martin. <laughs> well, what are we going to do with this thing? The City Council of Capital City was called into a session to pass appropriate measures to receive the baby elephant acquired by the school children of the area. Never in the history of local government has such rapid legislation been passed. The mayor of Capital City personally requested the City Council to convene for a grueling all-night session, which accomplished what normally would have taken weeks of consideration. Well, it really is amazing how quickly things can get done once the situation's reversed. Gosh, Mom, you're awfully smart. Yes, yes, she is. <laughs> 